Hello guys. What we will discuss today is pylon tag lithium ion battery. Its model is US 2000 and we will see how to troubleshoot it. In our today discussion there can be two types of the problem. Number one if battery is not getting on because battery have LED on it. If I can show you uh, here this is complete form of the battery and battery have LEDs here on LED here alarm LED here if no LED is getting on after switching is on so what we can do in second case if LED are getting on but alarm LED is on alarm LED is on with no buzzer beep because Third case can be alarm LED is on with buzzer beep, beep like this. But in this case we will discuss number one if no LED is getting on. Number second case if alarm LED is getting on with no buzzer. How we can troubleshoot this one. This is one of the battery you can see rechargeable lithium ion battery US 2000. Its capacity is 2.4 kilowatt hours, voltage are 48. So, if we open inside of this one, we will see here two card, PCB card. One is this one communication card and other is power flow card. It has three battery pack inside, one, two and three. As you know, this is 48 volt battery. So, each pack is of 16 volts 16 16 16 48 uh, and they are connected in series i mean negative of positive of this battery is pack is coming directly here we can take power from here negative is going to this one and positive of the, this one battery is connected negative of this one so in the last negative is coming here to this card and after processing and controlling uh, flow of power negative of this battery is coming out through this card these are the negative terminal of this battery so today we will see how to troubleshoot it number one Hello guys. Number one, we will see. Yes. As I told you, this battery is connected with inverter. So this is one of the inverter display and it's give us alarm alarm will be appear here as bp bp mean battery disconnected it means battery is not communicating with this inverter here you can see symbolic representation it is solar panel pv panel inverter and here should be battery battery is missing so it have alarm bp battery disconnected we will see how we should troubleshoot that one because battery is not communicating with inverter for i show you there are pcb card inside battery that are used for communication and power flow here you can see these two batteries are connected in parallel and there are communication cables here these communications are going to that control inverter so this battery is not communicating with battery so inverter there was alarm battery disconnected first we will see all of these connections are okay if everything all connections communication connections power connections all are okay the next step why we will see where this battery is disconnected now i try to make it on and you will see it all leds are off here These are LEDs, nothing is on here. Main battery is critically dead, it's not communicating at all. 
so this is one of the our first scenario what we can do in this case because if battery is not communicating with inverter inverter will not start a charging inverter will be able to charge it after communication so we will see here in next step in next video I have this one power supply we can call it lab power supply it can inject up to 60 volt and 5 amperes I removed that battery and I connected with this supply positive and negative then I try to try to on it and you will see Now LED is on, I will switch, press this switch on also. You can see all of these LEDs are on, but after that, all of these go off, only alarm LED is on. Even there is no buzzer here, but light is on, alarm LED is on. If there will be alarm LED on with buzzer, beep, then there will be other solution. But in this video we will see alarm LED on so we have two cases here uh, one LEDs are not getting on at all and second case alarm LED is on even with external power supply what we can do you can see here it's trying to inject volt here I will increase voltage from here even but battery is not accepting any amperes you can see so it will not work like this battery is not accepting any amperes okay now our first case our first case was all LED was off now what we did we did nothing we just give supply with this power supply and LEDs start working all LEDs start working normally alarm LED is off here this is the charging status of this battery mean this LED is charging is blinking it means it start charging and it's working normal after getting some charging we will return this battery back with inverter and it will work normally mean in our first case when all LEDs were off we just give supply with our external power supply with less volt 40 volt and battery start charging with no any alarm so we will keep it on charging after some time after this it will go to next LED we will return these battery back with inverter and inverter will charge them normally so our first case issue is resolved now second case if alarm LED is on what we can do like in this case alarm LED is on In this case even battery will not accept any charging. No any amperes battery is getting accepted. So we will see here in next video how we should troubleshoot our second case. Second case uh, first we will turn battery upside down because we have to remove this casing this is a downside. So after removing this casing you can see inside of this battery and it have two card PCB card
this is just one of the overview now what we will do uh, I can show you here maybe these this is positive of this pack it's directly coming out we will get this positive exactly at the output terminal then negative is going to this one mean this these three packs are connected in series it's interesting in second pack from second pack it will go to the third pack This is the third pack, second and third pack series connection, this one. You can see from here. Now output of the third pack, which is negative, it is coming out on PCB card. It is connected here, this one. This one is connected on this PCB card. There are three battery packs each of 16 volt in this case when alarm LED was on total volt on these three pack were 19 so what it means battery was in critical low condition what I did we will remove number one this positive is directly coming out no need to do this one this negative is connected here on this PCB card output from this PCB card should be here and we should take it out so I remove this connector I will give direct supply here first I will give 25 volt because already battery is for 19 volt charge this pack so we will make wake we will we will make them wake up slowly first I will connect my power supply negative here I will remove this connector I will connect power supply negative here and positive here and I will inject 25 volt and battery will start charging slowly slowly I will increase that volt until 40 volt will reach I will connect back this connection I will fix back this battery and I will start charging normally it will work before what was the problem here on this terminal that was total 19 volt 19 and should be 48 volt so these cards were in dead position mean under critical protection mode battery was not communicating at all that was alarm so after charging from this connection and from this one I will connect back and our battery will work normally you will see here This is one of the pylon tag battery rechargeable lithium ion battery. Now you can see here after charging internally, now our batteries are working these two batteries I connected them in parallel because they have one power supply and want to charge at least one LED should be charged so that I can connect back with inverter and everything should work fine uh, now you can see this is the battery which have before alarm here now they start charging and they, I connected them in parallel negative negative positive positive then I give supply with my power supply and they start charging so initially they are charging after this LED is completed charger this next LED will get on uh, and you can see here inject supply is injecting volt here after that this voltage will go up 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 because I set them 48 but battery volt was about low 40 so slowly slowly it will go up uh, you will see this is the our case and uh, this is one of the my lab power supply it have voltage 
normal you can fix from here if you want to make a fine word you can adjust here and this is one of the ampere setting you can do from here and its uh, range is up to 60 volts 60 and 5 amps it can work on 115 volt and it can work on 230 volt also mean no problem which supply you have it will work i will make a detailed video on this power supply also how to check this one it's working fine or what are their characteristics model each and everything so you can see here how i connected this one now in this case if you have any question let us know we will discuss in comments and hope so everything will be okay okay and next video i will see if battery alarm led is on with buzzer what we can do there will be an other solution for that one okay goodbye